Welcome in this video tutorial of using a Grasshopper Hull script in Rhino. In the previous tutorial I have showed you how you can use the remote control Grasshopper parameters to adjust the size and the shape of the ship quite fast. In this tutorial I'm going to show you the script itself the grasshopper script and therefore I open the grasshopper interface and over here you see the script which defines the size and the shape of the hull shape and furthermore there are components where the real-time dis lines plan display is scripted. In the blog article where you can find this video tutorial there's also a link to the Grasshopper plugin where you can find all sorts of tutorials to start using Grasshopper yourself. In this tutorial I will focus at this particular script to model ship hills. If I for example zoom in over here we find the parameters which were also displayed in the remote control panel in Rhino. Over here, however, I can double click and input an exact value for any parameter. Then this parameter is input for this component and if I zoom out and I can also see then what dependencies are created in order to get to this end result component called port side and starboard side of the hull. If we now move away this grasshopper canvas you see over here that the hull shape is now shown in green so selecting the port and starboard parameter component here you see that the preview is green and if I now a little more to the right and click in Grasshopper over here on this button I bake the hull as you can see over here. If I now switch off Grasshopper we see the end result. Furthermore, it is important and interesting to know where, for example, some other values are calculated. Over here we find components which analyze the overall length of the ship, the breadth, the depth. Over here we find the input parameter for the construction waterline and the displacement volume calculation you find over here. At last there is this real-time lines plan display which is generated over here. So in general over here you find the hull shape definition plus this components with this end result port side and starboard. So by switching them on, make them active, press on the bake button, you created 
this hull. Thank you for watching. Please download the script and test out yourself. Good luck.